Okay, this is Sunday, October 11th, I believe it is, 2015, and uh, I'm doing this last video to show Beanie. I've tried to show him in every scenario that's possible, me walking up to the door, taking him on his normal walk, and now I'm at a high school, which my wife and I call the free zone. This way, Cheech. And uh, I haven't had him here since mid-July. It's a very big place, expansive, and... Uh, he went, as I said, he went in early videos. He went blind on uh, July 4th, and uh, I brought him here mid-July just to see if being out in the open again would make him feel any better. And actually, it was very depressing. Uh, he fell off curbs, crashed into fences, crashed into bleachers, stood out in the middle of the grass, very confused. So, as you can see now, in this last scenario that I'm going to do here with him, he's. Uh, obviously going wherever he wants and uh, no problem navigating whatsoever because he's probably got 60 percent i'm saying that conservatively but 60 percent of his vision back distance and even a little near vision is returning so just to rehash a little bit on july 4th he went completely blind i took him to five different veterinarians three gps two ophthalmologists he had an erg several ret retinal examinations and uh, he was pronounced 100% completely blind, and he was. Basically, a very sad little dog. He's very upbeat, so he had a lot of his personality still, but uh, very sad. Would stand like a zombie and stare off into the house and uh, bump into things, yelp as he hurt his nose, so on and so forth. So anyway, in this last scenario, he's out at the school, as I said, uh, free to go wherever he wants, and. Uh, since I've been here, he's not once uh, tripped or bumped or fallen or gotten confused, knows exactly what he's doing. And my purpose in doing this is to let you know that there is hope, and there is help, and SARDS is not a final prognosis for your dog, because his vision will come back if you take action. And uh, as I saw online, there are just dozens and dozens and dozens of cases of people calling in or writing in or videoing in and telling Dr. Pleckner thanks for saving their dog's vision. The hard part is, from what he told me, is finding a vet veterinarian to apply his protocol. I didn't have a problem because I have one of the best GPs I've ever met in my life, Mark Twilla, at Sunshine Animal Hospital. And uh, Dr. Twilla, I told him what we were gonna try and do and uh, he completely agreed. And it took a couple of months, I guess, I'm guessing six weeks maybe. And uh, I was looking for my other dog here. I'm just showing you Beanie as he navigates this entire property uh, completely at cause and with sight. Anyways, it took a couple of months and then all of a sudden, as I said in earlier videos, something appeared to be changing and it was almost like boom, there it was. Two weeks ago, his distance vision just snapped back pretty suddenly almost as suddenly as he lost it. And he's actually now gotten back some of his near vision. And uh, he's extremely happy little guy again. And uh, I really don't know what else to tell you guys. I just, again, i not interested in hearing my voice or seeing my dog on video. I uh, just want people to know what's available to reverse this for your dog. So, I'm going to cut this short here. I don't want it to be a long video because I want a lot of people to see it. I'm hoping veterinarians will see it and actually be willing to take action. But I can tell you, Dr. Al Pleckner, there's a plethora of information online. If you just Google his name, you will come up with God knows how many uh, cases where he's helped dogs regain their sight. Some 100%, some in varying degrees. Like I said, I would guess that Beanie has... Oh, I don't know, 60%, I'm guessing, distance vision, and uh, maybe 10, 15% near vision, and 100% uh, himself, again, very, very happy. And uh, if you need some advice or uh, just to speak with a vet who now has experience with this, Dr. Mark Twilla, it's Sunshine Animal Hospital in Tampa, Florida. Uh, I know that he would... I feel sure he'd be willing to help others, as he has me, in applying Dr. Pleckner's protocol. So, 
I hope this video helped. You've now seen him free out here without a leash on his walk, two on his walk, and uh, one me walking up to the front door as he recognizes me, showing near vision, and also one in the backyard, which is only about 20 seconds, showing how I faked him giving him a treat, and he followed my hand left and right. So uh, that's pretty much it, and I wish the best of luck to everyone who's suffered this, as I have. And uh, like I said, there is more than hope. Uh, it's actually a pretty thing to do, pretty easy thing to do. He just went up to the fence. He's looking through the fence, wanting to go through. Normally, he would have crashed right into the fence, and uh, that would have been the end of it. So there's Beanie with his vision back and very happy little guy.